can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's going on guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video and in today's video we are doing uh, pretty much 435 part out number two and I uh, gotta support my boy right here which is Jonathan and uh, yeah he's been extinct off of YouTube for a little bit but he's coming back as you guys can see with the camera on the thing. He's actually here to pick up some engine mods for his car because he wants to do some power mods. So we're gonna be moving over uh, the intercooler from CSF I believe. The charge pipe from, what was the charge pipe from again? FTP. FTP and uh, the hypo down pipe. We're actually not gonna be installing the hypo down pipe here. We're gonna be taking it down to a shop to install that part. But we have the hypo down pipe. He's getting all three of those mods from my car to his car. Pretty much getting him all of the stuff less than half off, which is a really good deal for him. So that's why he's gonna act on it before he even wraps his front bumper. <laughs> um, it's a long story. It's, it's a long story. story, but he's actually gonna be also wrapping his front bumper as well um pretty soon that's gonna be on his channel as well so again his info is gonna be linked down below right now i'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up we're gonna start taking about my car take about his car we are meeting up with uh, a person as well later today to get some wheels for the 435 we got some 440i m sport wheels i'm not gonna put some cheap you know cheap ugly rims on here we're still gonna put some super nice wheels on here get some tires on it mount it on the car so i can sell these wheels because these wheels are again probably gonna help me get more money at least get that 22 number the reason we're trying to get to 22k for everything we sell in this car is because we do need to get another M build on the channel. We need a big M build, and the only way to be able to afford that is if we get 22 on this car. So yeah, we're getting those wheels later today. We're gonna swap out these ones. Uh, we got a lot to do today, a lot of mods to transfer over. So let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so what we actually removed is the giant intercooler that was here, the big intercooler and the charge pipe, the FTP charge pipe, CSF intercooler. We already moved the high flow down pipes is over there for Jonathan. So he just got, he just leveled up, got a CSF intercooler right over there. We will have to clean it up. He's gonna have to repaint it because he wants it to match his car and charge pipe, FTP charge pipes right over there. So uh, yeah, now that we got everything out of my car, we're gonna go ahead and get everything out of his car, put everything into his car first and then put together my car in the end. Right after we do that, the guy ended up coming through. He brought us the 440i rims. These are for off of a 2019 440i. So we have some M Sport 18 inch rims that look actually really good in really good shape as well. Only one of them has curb rash uh, because apparently he dropped it or something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get tires mounted on all of these and then we'll go ahead and get these mounted on the car, put stock suspension back on the car. And if you guys need wheels or bags, make sure to hit me up on Instagram. Variant wheels for sale and airlift bags. Two great brands, two great products. If you guys want it, hit me up on my Instagram. I don't know if we're gonna be doing that all in this video. I think for this video, we're just gonna go ahead and get Jonathan's car up to spec and uh, get my car back, put back together and then probably do the suspension and the wheels another day. But we are gonna be heading out and getting some tires mounted on those wheels. Damn, it do look good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the two cars just chilling there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, fully modify Jonathan's car. Let's get it, dude. At this point, we pretty much installed Jonathan the new FTP charge pipe. That's in all the way down. So now it just needs the intercooler to be mounted up. So we'll be mounting that intercooler pretty soon, but he does want to get that painted. He's going to get all that done in a little bit. But for me, at least, we're going to go back and put the stock charge pipe. We're also going to put the stock intercooler in there and um, at least get that all looking good. Guys, so my car is 100% ready to go. Just needs to get the bumper put on it. I'm actually thinking, would one of you guys want the splitter that's on this thing? It's custom made to this car. Again, the next owner that gets this car probably won't even care about the splitter. And this is custom made to this car by my boy. So that being said, would you guys want me to take, I'm probably gonna end up taking off the splitter. If one of you guys want the splitter, it's custom made. I'm only gonna sell for $200. It's also pretty much chest, chassis mounted. It's not welded, but it's screwed to the chassis. So it really protects your lip. As you guys see, I've never even cracked my lip. Nothing's wrong with my lip. And that's because of the splitter, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna take that off. Let me know if any of you guys want it locally. It's gonna be $200, half of what I got it for. And then I'm gonna reassemble the front bumper. I already ordered wrap for this hood. Um, I actually let this, I, I leaned this against the, the fence and ended up messing up the wrap. So it is what it is. We'll go ahead and rewrap it. 
no, it's not a big deal. And then Jonathan, he's gonna end up painting the CSF. We already got his charge pipe and all that installed. So we're gonna paint the, the intercooler to red, something like that, right? Something like that. And then probably some hot red or something kind of like darkish red, not too bright. Yeah. Um, and then put it back in his car. But we also are gonna be heading out right now and we're actually gonna get some paint for Jonathan. And then for me, we got the M Sport rims loaded up. So uh, yeah, we're gonna head over, get some tires mounted on these wheels, and then should be ready to go to put these on the 435 tomorrow. But uh, I'm pretty excited about this because these are pretty nice, and uh, we can finally take off those very expensive wheels that everyone's lowballing me for. And at least I can sell it to one of you guys if I'm gonna get lowballed anyways. All right, guys. So we just pulled up at the tire shop. Uh, let's see what kind of tires we can get for these wheels. So we got our wheels and tires mounted. Now we're just gonna head in and get some uh, just some regular spray can paint because uh, we need that for the intercooler. And then we get to go. Bada bing, bada bang. We got the can. Now we're good to go. Just paint the intercooler, and then your car is pretty much done, right? Mm -hmm. That's good. So we have the 440i M Sport wheels wrapped in some Pirellis. Um, so this is actually a really good deal. I got the tires for a really good deal. I think I got the tires for about like $300 and then the wheels for $300. So $600 for this set is actually really good. The tires almost have brand new tread on them as well, which is great. But yeah, now that we got all this situated, um, we're probably gonna mount those tomorrow because we're also gonna be working on the suspension tomorrow. But as for today, my car is good to go. We're not worried about my car. We are worried about Jonathan's. We need to paint that in a cooler and we need to slap it in the car. So uh, let's get to work on that. Not gonna lie, I'm really loving this uh, this Milwaukee light. Shout out to Blake's Garage for actually telling me about this thing because it's pretty awesome. Look at that, you can work at night now. Well, it's, it means it's looking a lot better, yeah. I would spray paint the bottom though, still yeah. a little bit more there. Alrighty guys, so Jonathan is does need one more coat to make that thing 100% officially red, but look at that bumper, it looks so good, even without the splitter. So we removed the splitter, if you guys want that splitter, I'll give it to you guys for 100 bucks. I basically paid 400, it's valid around 400. I paid, I think around like, I think like 200 or something like that. I'll give it to you guys for 100 bucks. If you guys want that splitter that was here, that protected this front lip and it makes it, literally, it doesn't have any damage because of that splitter. Hit me up, local pickup only, $100, comes with all the hardware. I'll even show you guys, I actually have a dedicated video on how to install that splitter because it is custom. But yeah, anywho, um, bada bing, bada bang. Let's go ahead and throw this bumper on the car. This whole thing should be back to officially, it's now 100% stock. It, it, other than the blow-off valve, um, which you can never ever notice, it is 100% stock in terms of bolt-ons. My boy Jonathan is leveling up and uh, this one is leveling down. But we're gonna be upgrading to copper 2.0 pretty soon, guys. So I am super excited for it. Let's go ahead and get this bumper on the car and then we need to rewrap that hood. Ah, oh, man, so much to do, so much to do. We gotta get the wheels, suspension, interior. We got so much to do, guys. Put this bumper on, though. All right, guys, so we just went ahead and saw Jonathan's new intercooler, um, painted red and everything. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Bada bing, bada bang, that looks good. So we're just trying to put the belly pan right now because Jonathan wants that. It's uh, it's kind of a hassle, but we're gonna go ahead and try that. And then uh, after that, we just throw on the bumper and his car is good to go. We're gonna be wrapping the rest of his car pretty soon as well. Um, he's been having some things going on. He's been working a lot at his actual job because he doesn't do YouTube full time. So. so he's been working a lot of hours and unfortunately he hasn't had time to fully wrap his car, but he's gonna be getting to that pretty soon. But what's also super crazy, if you guys look at this water bottle, I mean this water, I, I, I just don't understand. How is that, like what? Anyhow, the 435 is fully put back together, which I'm super happy about. Super dirty, we'll need a wash. This hood's because it was sitting outside, not because the car's been sitting, but the hood. We're also gonna peel up all this wrap, clean up the roof, I mean the, the, the hood, and actually rewrap this entire hood, uh, mainly because the car doesn't deserve a bad wrap. It, it, the rest of the car has really good wrap, so we want the hood to have good wrap as well. But guys, the wheels are still for sale, so make sure you guys, if you guys wanna hit me up, these are variant wheels with some pretty much brand new tires, as you guys can see. I only had these tires for about 3,000 miles. These wheels are made custom to pretty much fit 435's flush fit m4s m3s so uh yeah if you guys have a, like a 4 series or an m car and you want these rims hit me up they look super sick m4 interior we still got that guys look at it from the front end this thing just looks so sick i love the m4 interior and then last but not least we still have uh the air suspension so if you guys want any of that air suspension i'm, I'm thinking about two grand because i paid about three so original price is four black friday was three I'm gonna sell it for two, because I think that's a really good deal for you guys. Anyhow, uh, let's help Johnny, my boy, finish up the rest of his car, because uh, he's gotta drive home, so. <laughs> um, yeah. So Jonathan officially just left. We got the I8 back in the garage, chilling like a villain. We have all my parents' cars back over here so they don't kick my booty. But um, yeah, everything went pretty well today, thankfully. Installing all the mods went pretty well. For some reason, installing mods on other people's cars are so much easier, and I can do like 10 mods in one day, but installing a, car, a mod on my car, always ends up messing up. I don't know why, I don't know why. I think I should become a mechanic because doing it on other people's cars is actually not that bad. I always thought it'd be worse, but it's actually not that bad. Anyhow, so we just hooked up one of you guys with a ton of mods from the 435. We just hooked up my 
boy Jonathan with a ton of mods for his 335. He obviously has some big plans for that thing, but he's also going to do some builds on the side. So if you guys want to check out his channel, his link's going to be down below. He does a lot of BMW content as well. If you guys haven't seen, he's my boy. He's been doing BMW stuff with me since day one. But anywho, guys, I'm going to call it a night tomorrow. we got a big day ahead of us. we got to take off the suspension, and we're going to be taking off the wheels. So that being said, we need to get a good night's rest, and this video needs to get edited. So I love you guys so much. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed this video, and you like seeing other people's cars being built on this channel as well. And without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay home. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.